us and our memorial choir. Um, we just wanted to insert a little caveat about um, this space. So we have never performed an entire concert in this space, and there may or may not be a few wrinkles with moving choirs on and off. So just have Relax. patience. Yeah, just relax. <laughs> it's the gift of waiting. It's an absolutely beautiful performance space, and we want to thank the Congregation of St. Matthew's Lutheran for allowing us to stage our Christmas concert here. So we hope that you enjoy our concert. Baroque period had been dead for 167 years. 
but the music he created lived on. In 1792, Vivaldi wrote a huge Christmas work entitled Gloria, and it is still being performed today. <laughs> Let's just see if Justin Bieber has that kind of staying power. <laughs> the text is Latin. Dominum Fili Uni Genite, which means begotten son, Jesus Christ. So, if Stony Plain has been a town since 1908, that means Stony Plain and the surrounding area have celebrated here you are, 107 Christmases. And as surely as the details of holiday celebrations have changed, different fashions, quantity of gifts, quality of meals, there are just as surely some things that will never change. Alberta remains a beautiful, vast, and diverse province. Just as in 1908, Alberta welcomes those seeking work, a new beginning, or peace. Even now, we continue to welcome newcomers to our land from faraway places torn by war and strife. The landscape, while much more populated, still boasts gorgeous scenery and beautiful vistas. The next two pieces combine the beauty and pride of Alberta with a Sarah Teasdale poem about hope. Paul Brandt's Alberta Bound speaks of Alberta's inescapable pulp, an ode to our province. Sarah Teasdale lived from 1884 to 1933. She was 24 and writing poetry as Stony Plain was being born. Stars I Shall Find speaks of finding peace and rest and following one's dream. I imagine early Stony Plain settlers would have found both of these two songs to resonate with them. 